Are you sure you're not cheating? You played like five plus fours in a row. Oh, welcome back. Uh, uh, welcome back to Crusader News. Let's see what you all missed. The Christmas program went very well last night. It may have been a week for you guys, but it was just last night for me. All the singers remembered to stay on key. The light crew actually remembered to turn on and off the lights this time. I'm talking to you, boss. And all the actors remembered all their lines this time. And what do you look at that? I'm even in it. Lastly on Crusader News, we're going to have a three-week vacation for Christmas break. I'm going to miss all... I'm going to miss most... I'm going to miss some of you. I'm going to miss some of you very much. Sadly, that's all the time for your Crusader Media. This year has been fun, but we have to get, say goodbye to 2020. Wait a second. It's going to be 2022? Man, this year went by fast. Anyway, I hope we all had fun, but that's all the time we have for Crusader News and Crusader Media this year. I'm Elisha, and I'll see you all next year. Welcome back to Crusader Spotlight. Today, we'll be talking about Santa Claus. Santa Claus is known for a lot of things. He's known for uh, his round belly and red suit, or the man who gives you presents each year. But Santa Claus, his real name is actually Saint Nicholas, or Kris Kringle. His sleigh is probably the most fastest vehicle ever made. It is believed that Santa Claus was born in Turkey around 280 AD. Santa Claus enjoys playing games and just having a jolly time. He's known for giving gifts to the good and cold to the bad. So let's just hope that we've all been pretty good this year. That's it for Crusader Spotlight. Thanks for listening. Make sure to come back next week to see who's our next spotlight. Happy holidays! Happy Holidays! Today, I will be talking about the scarf. The scarf goes all the way back to 1350 BC, and it was first recorded that Queen Nefertiti wore the first scarf. And in China, it was used to mark military rank. Nowadays, we just wear it for mostly comfort and style. Make sure to stay warm for the holidays! This year seems to have gone by pretty fast because it's that time of the year again. I don't know about you, but there's something about Christmas that gets me into a baking mood. And this season is not lacking in its array of festive treats. One of the most well-known holiday dishes is gingerbread. Its origins can be traced back to ancient Egypt and Greece, and was mostly used for special ceremonies. In Europe, these cookies were given out during medieval fairs and were decorated with either edible golden paint or flat white icing. Depending on the season, they would be in the shape of birds, flowers, leaves, and people. Queen Elizabeth was the one who popularized decorating the cookies as people after she ordered some gingerbread to be made to resemble some visiting nobility. Gingerbread wasn't only for eating. Before the invention of refrigeration, it was used to conceal the odor of rotting meat. But why do we associate gingerbread with Christmas? Well, during the rule of Queen Victoria, the royal family decorated their Christmas trees with gingerbread. Since the queen was a very influential icon, this tradition started to catch on. The building of gingerbread houses started in Germany, and it's said they got the idea from the Brothers Grimm fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. Now, gingerbread has been integrated into our holiday tradition, though I have to admit that I'm not a very big fan of gingerbread, mostly because most recipes include way too much ginger for my taste. But for some reason, I really like the gingerbread from the gingerbread house kits. Whether you decide to buy some from the store or bake them yourself, this famous cookie can be enjoyed by people of all ages. It is now that time of the year, Christmas time. The buildings, the houses, the lights, everything, including the weather, indicates that it is now Christmas time. It's Southern California. It doesn't get that cold, but to a Southern Californian, Cold is still cold. Don't you just hate when your hands get cold? But an easy solution to this is gloves, right? Right. But if you want to write something or use your phone, you need to take them off. And then boom, your hands get cold again. To use your phone, you could always do this number, but who wants to do that? Actually, they make gloves that you can wear and still use your phone, but it's cold for like five minutes in Southern California. There's no point in me buying. But I mean... 
Despite the cold, this is probably my favorite time of the year. Spending time with friends and family celebrating the birth of Jesus makes me so happy that I totally forget about my cold thumbs.